when I was looking at going to SCAD, I kept seeing all these videos on YouTube titled, Why I Left, or I Left SCAD, Here's Why. So here's another. This is the third time I've filmed this video. It is either too long or there's too much detail. Ah! So let's hope this is the one. I left SCAD. First, I want to say SCAD is a great place. It's such a cool school. It's the Hollywood arts of colleges. If you go there, you probably agree. It's a very weird place. It's a very cool place. Sometimes I miss it a lot, and sometimes I'm very glad I left. Before I say why I left, um, well, there's multiple reasons, but before I go into any of them, I still recommend the school to people. I still have people DMing me on Instagram, asking me questions. If you have the money, and if you know what you want from it, if you know that you want an art degree of some sort, go for it. Also, if you don't have a problem with meal plans, as you'll come to figure out that I guess I did, I definitely recommend the school. That said, I'm going to be honest in this video and talk about my experiences. Obviously, these are personal experiences, so they're not gonna apply to everyone. The first main reason I left is because I was never really sure it was where I was supposed to be. First of all, it's expensive. I love Atlanta. The city is my heart. I had this view that I had practically been dreaming of. My classes were great, my teachers were great. I got to the end of my first quarter and was so excited to go back. I had chosen the classes I was gonna take. I was learning about the teachers I was gonna be with from people who had been with them. Basically, I was really, really excited. It's not necessary to have your major decided, especially not that soon. I was only there for a quarter and I didn't know what I wanted to do. However, I guess it was kind of important to me to know that I was at least going in the right direction. And at the end of the day, I don't think I was ever confident that I was. I had conversations with my roommate a couple times about just leaving and going traveling. I had written a book the previous summer and I wanted to finish that. I kind of put it to the side while I was at SCAD. I was enjoying my classes a lot, but they just kind of felt like play. I think my entire experience just felt like a vacation. It was all fun. And that had me wondering, when is this going to start haunting me? Because I was putting so much money into the school, even for a single quarter. I had no real savings set up. I took a small loan. So the question that was running through my head is, when am I going to regret this? When am I going to have to face reality and pay off all of this? For most, that question, all of those questions could be answered by, well, when you graduate. Then you'll have your major, you'll be in your job. SCAD is known for their graduate employment rate. But I sometimes didn't know if I would graduate from there. Graduating from SCAD would mean putting in another four years worth of this same money, gathering four years worth of this small loan. I would be going three quarters a year, so it would be times three times four. Sometimes it felt like I was purposely ignoring the curtain, not looking behind it, because I knew that if I looked, I would see the truth. That spending four years here at SCAD, even though it's an amazing place, it would just be putting off the inevitable. My major was undecided, as many are. I went in for film and TV, but that wasn't really something I wanted to do. I considered maybe switching and pursuing a writing degree. But SCAD's writing programs and majors are more tailored toward either just general creative writing or film writing, screenwriting. So none of these were paths I could see myself legitimately taking. It wasn't going to be the right thing for me long term. So that was one reason I left. While I did feel like SCAD was the perfect fit for me, it also kind of felt like a playground, a very expensive playground that I would have to pay off later. Despite all of this, like I said, I was eager to go back in the winter. I was looking forward to it. As classes were coming to a close in that first quarter, we were choosing our classes for the second and choosing meal plans. The meal plan is the second reason I left, kind of. I am vegan and gluten-free. I started right before I went to SCAD because I was having some medical issues and I thought maybe it'll help. My roommates can attest that I did have a little 
medical moment. I was getting out of my drawing class and I realized I was like going to be sick. So I asked to leave early. He let me leave early and I ran back to the dorm and threw up a lot. It was not pretty. I am sorry roommates that I did that. After that, I kind of started taking this diet thing more seriously, seeing if it could actually help me. The meal plans they have at SCAD are not good for these sorts of diets. They say that they have a lot of options, and they do if you go once, but the options don't vary much, so it's hard to eat there every day. Luckily, I had chosen a very small meal plan my first time. It was the smallest. It was $400 for meal plan F. Little did I know I wasn't supposed to be on that meal plan at all. Despite this, the system let me choose it again for my second quarter. There were no flags raised. No one got back to me saying, you can't have this. So I didn't think much of it. Our deadline for payments was December 1st. In our first year experience class, our FYE class, we were told this several times that the deadline is December 1st. Get all your payments in by December 1st. That is the deadline. I heard it a thousand times. I regurgitated it to my family and November 30th rolls around and we get all of the money in. Everything is paid for, my account reads zero dollars. I can finally breathe. Cue the dramatic music. A few days pass, I get an email notifying me that I have a charge in my account that I haven't paid off. It says it's past the deadline. My new deadline is now December 17th, which, what? So, I ask my mom about it. I talk to my advisor. He says he'll see what he can do and try to figure out what it is. I'm kind of expecting it at this point to disappear because I paid for everything, right? Wrong. The new charge was for the new meal plan I had been switched to. I didn't change my meal plan. I stuck with F, the smallest, but suddenly I am charged for the largest. And when I say largest, the top three, the ones that I was supposedly supposed to be on, either A, B, or C, they're about $80 difference from each other, so not much comparatively. Compared to meal plan F over here, it's $1,451 difference. That extra charge added to my account all of a sudden with a new deadline date scared me, and I tried to switch it back to F. F was no longer available. It wasn't even an option. My only options were A, B, or C. At this point, I'm getting more anxious. Also, it's the holiday season, so I'm busy with other things, and I'm sure SCAD was too. Nonetheless, I'm trying to solve it. I'm talking to my advisor. He's trying to solve it. I have my laptop here because there was a long chain of events that led to me sending many, many emails to many, many SCAD people, none of whom could give me a real answer on what was going on and if I was going to be able to switch my meal plan back. I'll just read this list. I typed it up at the time to send to the dean so that I could have a record of everything that I'd been through, everyone I'd spoken to, and here it is. Based on my advisor's advice, I called SCAD meal plan department. Mail plan department told me to email a lady, let's call her A. Lady A forwards my email and tells me to speak to, let's call this lady R. R tells me to email SCAD card and file for a meal plan exemption. The meal plan exemption department tells me to speak to the dean, which I did. The dean told me to email ATL Disability and I never heard back from ATL Disability. At this point, time was ticking. It was past Christmas, it was past New Year. All my friends and roommates were going to be moving back into the dorms on the Friday before classes started, Monday, January 6th. I emailed the dean a few times trying to get a response. For me, this, yes, I can switch your meal plan back or no, I can't, it was, it was important because I wasn't going back to SCAD on this larger meal plan. I would be paying for way too many meals I wouldn't be eating. The way the entire thing was handled was disappointing because I hadn't been told anything about this meal plan change until they changed it after we had already paid. So while I'm also wondering if I'm going to be going back, I'm at the same time getting panicky because I just put all this money and not only my money, my family's, those who are helping me pay for this. All this money just went towards SCAD. They have it. 
will I get any of it back? I was unsure of a lot of things and classes were starting. Yes. <laughs> I mean that. Classes started. I live a couple hours from Atlanta, so I didn't go back when my friends went back. My first class was going to be on Monday night at 5 p.m. So Monday morning, I was still here. I was still waiting for the response. And finally, the dean emails me back. He says he can't help, but could I send the doctor's notes for my medical problem, verifying that I do in fact have a medical problem. It's not what I wanted to hear. My class was in three hours, two hours. I had been handed off between so many people and told, I can't help you, this person maybe can. Oh, I can't help you, this person maybe can. Try this person, try that. This was not my first time talking to the dean about this issue and I still didn't have an answer. Drop ad ended Friday. It was pushing it very, very late at this point. We actually got in the car. I had all my bags packed. I had my backpack on when I got the email and we got in the car and started to drive. But about a mile down the road, we stopped and pulled into a gas station and just kind of sat there for a couple hours. And then we drove back and I wake up the next day and my mom comes in my room and says, hey, I think you should go. My classes that day were in the morning and in the afternoon. I had already missed the morning one, but I did pack a small bag and decide to go try to catch the afternoon one. I got to the school and ran into my roommates and tried to explain what was going on. Like, yes, I'm coming back. No, I don't know. Ah. I went to the class and loved it just like I knew I would. I hadn't packed an overnight bag, so we came back to the house. And as we were driving back, the farther I got away from SCAD, the more that days of kind of just la la land, the more that faded away. And I saw the truth that if I go back, I'll be paying for a meal plan I won't use. And it's going to add to the cost of what I'm already paying, of what I'll already have to pay off in the future. It shook me awake, and at that point, I made the decision. I, I can't go back. I tried to get my stuff out of the dorms, and it was a difficult process. There was this whole thing with my SCAD card, which was what the meal plan was on. It's what you scan as you go in and out of the cafeteria. They were trying to charge me for using it. I specifically didn't use it that one time I went back that quarter because I didn't want to touch this new meal plan they had set me on. It wasn't my choice. I was either going to get off of it or just get out of the school. It took some persuasive writing of some emails to specific people, including the dean, asking for this full refund, specifying that because the responses I received were given to me so late, I hadn't been able to make a decision, and that's why I didn't make a decision up until that point. So they were trying to charge me partially into my time during that second quarter, when I really hadn't been there. They ended up giving me a full refund, so I got my stuff out as quick as I could. None of this changes the fact that I like SCAD. I won't stop recommending it to people. I'll forever think of it as a really cool place, but I've been asked a couple of times, is it worth it? And I jokingly answered this in one of my other videos. I think it was a Q&A about SCAD. At the time, I didn't have an answer. I think now I do. I don't think SCAD was the only place that I could find my purpose. I've been there, I've done that. Yes, I still miss it sometimes. I see my friends posting stuff. I just, oh, I miss my city. I don't miss the cost. I already paid off my small loan, so I feel very happy in that regard because no more of that. But I will still recommend the school to those of you who know what you want to do and think that you can really get that out of SCAD. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I hope it's not too long. I know for a fact it's not as long as the other two I tried to film. But yeah, if you have any other questions about SCAD or anything else, you can ask me in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and good luck if you're going to SCAD. Bye!